This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. CatBeast.com. If you guys want customized hats, uh, then check out CatBeast.com. Yo, what up guys? I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel. And this is my first impressions look on the 361 degrees Aaron Gordon Zen 4. So if you guys remember, I really, really liked the, the Zen 3. Um, but it, it was an amazing shoe and it was super cheap. Also, the, the Zen 4 is going for a very good price of 110 bucks as well. If you guys do want to cop, I'll try to leave a link in the description box. There's this colorway and there's a, a good amount of colorways available. Uh, but let's get start off with the Tractiones. And pretty much we have a decoupled outsole. You know, the rubber here in the forefoot and the rubber here in the heel are separated. And also we can see the plastic, right? They're calling it the quick balance, right? It's just a plastic midfoot chain plate, but also uh, wraps around and cages the foam and acts as a lateral counter. So it's like dual purpose, I guess. Uh, but yeah, the traction is feeling really good. It's like, it's basically a circle. <laughs> so here in the forefoot, we have a circle and it circles out on itself. And we can also see the foam exposed here in the forefoot, like through this hole. And then here in the heel, we have Aaron Gordon's logo. But yeah, the traction is a super high pitched squeak, very loud squeak as well. And the bite seems really good on my wood floor. So I like that. And uh, yeah, as far as the rubber outsole goes, the grooves aren't super deep, which kind of sucks, but the rubber is actually kind of hard. So I feel like it should be oh, like pretty good on the outdoor court. I mean, Chinese companies usually, you know, generally they make very durable outsoles for the demographic over in China, right? Uh, so yeah, the traction feels really good so far and I'm very excited to try these out. But so far it feels really nice as far as like me testing it on my wood floors. All right, moving on to the heel to toe transition. It feels really, really smooth, right? So here in the heel, usually I don't like this, you know, when the outsole comes up to cage the midsole, but it's like in the back of the heel. Uh, but like here on the lateral and medial side, it's pretty much fully exposed. And you see how thick? It's, it's, it's thick, guys. Thick with three, four Cs, you know what I mean? She it, she got a bottom, you know what I mean? So there's a lot of compression here in the heel. It feels super soft, nice rounded shape too. And then here in the forefoot, we have a nice rounded shape and a good amount of forefoot flex, like right, you know, right where your actual foot flexes. But here in the middle of the shoe, there's good torsional support, it feels like, right? Because of this quick balance plate. So yeah, overall heel to toe transition feels smooth. And now moving on to the cushioning setup. So we have quick foam, right? It says quick foam right here. And it's, it's full length. I don't really like how it looks because it kind of looks like styrofoam, right? Look at that, it's exposed and kind of looks like styrofoam. Uh, so it kind of looks cheap to me, but it does not feel cheap. It feels really nice so far, right? So there is a lot of compression, which I like, especially here in the heel. I am a little worried about stability though, because there's just so much compression right here, right? I actually think they should have moved this more right here. Maybe cage half of this a little bit. So there's a little bit less compression on the lateral side, right? Because if there's compression here, you can roll your ankle if it if it's too soft there. But uh, it doesn't really matter here in the back of the heel and also on the medial side as much, right? But, you know, as far as the core feel goes, the, the forefoot feels okay. And then the heel gets pretty damn high up off the ground. Uh, but, you know, I mean, Aaron Gordon, like his shoes usually don't have great core feel, but they have really good cushion as far as like you know, impact protection and like softness and comfort goes. So that's kind of like a little sacrifice that they make, you know, but I don't think Aaron Gordon really cares about core feel all too much uh, because his his cushioning setups are crazy. There's a lot of compression, you know, it feels super soft. Uh, and for the step in comfort, and step in comfort is also pretty nice. Uh, the strobe board is on the softer side of things and the, you know, regular insole. You know, it just feels like a, it feels a little bit more plush than regular Orthlite insoles. So that feels nice too. Uh, so overall, I like the cushioning setup, but of course my only thing is, uh, I guess two things, you know, hopefully it's not too soft and mushy feeling. I want it to be a little bit more responsive, but also I, I hope it's not too unstable, right? All right, moving on to the material. So here in the forefoot, we have like a textile mesh material. I like it overall, you know, it, it feels, it actually doesn't feel that cheap, you know, and uh, it actually has a good like, like feel to it. You know, when you press it with your finger, it doesn't feel flimsy or anything. And then of course here around the tip of the toe, we have like some views for extra durability and support. And is this 3M? It doesn't really seem like it's, it is 3M. It's not really reflecting or anything. Huh. 
Um, but yeah, overall, it's like a thin, thinner material and it feels great in, in, in the forefoot. And of course here we can see a midfoot strap, which I like. It reminds me a lot of the KT Splash line, right? So it is a two-way strap. You know, it comes from here, loops into this plastic piece and comes all the way around. And because of physics, you can actually tighten this type of strap a lot more than just like a one-way strap, right? Also, another thing that I really like is that it's super thin. It's a very thin screen mesh material. So it doesn't add for like really any bulk here in the midfoot, but also you can really crank it down, which I like. For the tongue, we have not a whole lot of padding. It's more of like a very open mesh material. It's a half booty construction tongue as well. And then here in the ankle area, we have some really amazing Achilles pillows. It's like a kind of like a pill shape or like, I don't know, like a banana shape a little bit. But you know, there's a lot of compression to it. It feels really nice on like in the back of the heel. Uh, so yeah, overall for 110 bucks, the materials are really nice. You can definitely look at it and tell that it's a little bit more on the cheaper side of things. You know, you can probably guess, you know, but it feels really nice on foot. And it feels comfortable and supportive, but also thin here in the forefoot. And then the extra Achilles pillows adds for comfort here in the back of the shoe. All right, moving on to the fit. I went true to size and it fits me really, really well, right? So my toes go right to the edge of the shoe. So if you want a snug fit lengthwise, I would suggest going true to size. Also here in the toe box, it's quite snug. I wouldn't say it's super snug. Uh, also, I feel like this like textile mesh is gonna stretch out once I break it in and play in it a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, it's an overall pretty snug fit. I can curl my toes up just a tiny bit. And also width wise, it is more on the narrow side of things, right? It gets really pointy here at the tip of the toe. So it fits me really well. And also this shoe is super easy to put on because of this really large heel tab. Look at that. All right, so you just slide your foot in, feels great. If you have a wide foot or you want a like a roomier fit here in the toe box, I would suggest going up half a size or maybe even a full size because it is a, a pretty snug fit here in the toe box. All right, moving on to the support in lockdown. So I feel like it's gonna be very, very good, right? So here in the forefoot, we have a, like a lot of fuse going on. Right? So that'll definitely help with support here in the forefoot for lateral containment. We have the quick balance coming up as well, right? And then here in the, in the heel, we have the foam coming up. And it also feels like there is a pretty thin internal TPU heel calendar. So lateral containment, I feel like it's gonna be good. Lateral stability, look at that. Look at how wide the shoe is here in the forefoot, right? So that'll definitely really help with lateral stability, even though uh, the foam is super soft here. So I feel like I don't have, I'm not too worried about that because of this, but uh, it is really soft here in the heel. So of course I'm gonna need to play in it and uh, see how my experience is with that. But uh, I do really like how wide uh, the shoe is here in the forefoot. All right, moving on to the weight. Um, it definitely doesn't feel super light. I, I feel like it's, it'll be like 13, 14 ounces. Oh no, 15, <laughs> holy crap, 15.52 ounces. What? It does not feel that heavy though. Huh, interesting. Uh, the other pair is 15.34 ounces. Yeah, so, ooh, that's pretty damn heavy. Does it feel heavy? It feels definitely a little bit on the heavier side of things, but definitely doesn't feel 15 ounces heavy like on foot. I guess the, the good thing is that there's not a lot of bulk in this shoe, it feels like, you know, it, it feels pretty streamlined to your foot, right? Nothing is like protruding out like crazy as far as like the midsole or like the upper goes. So overall, it feels pretty good on foot. And I feel like it'll be re responsive, you know, if the traction is good and the cushion isn't like too soft or mushy, I, I probably wouldn't mind the overall weight, like the 15 ounce weight uh, of the shoe, right? All right, moving on to the aesthetics. It's all right. Um, this color is pretty dope. It's all white with a splash or a hint of like light blue this color is dope uh but the overall silhouette i'm not a huge fan of um i don't know tell us uh what do you guys think tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below so wrapping things up i mean yeah the zen line has been awesome as far as like me liking this shoe i feel like i don't like this shoe but i don't think it'll be in my rotation heavily just for my first impressions because of the heavier weight and also the cushion being high up off the ground and stuff like that. It feels like more of a, a big man shoe. I mean, Aaron Gordon's a huge guy. He's very athletic too. He needs a lot of support and a lot of cushion. So it'll, it definitely makes sense. <laughs> you know, it's obviously made for Aaron Gordon. So uh, that just doesn't really fit my play style. But like I said, I feel like I'll enjoy playing in this shoe. Uh, but anyways, that about wraps up my first impressions look on the Zen 4. Again, if you guys do want to cop, I'll leave a link in the description box. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.